welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started lord i come before you humble giving you thanks and giving you praise lord thanking you for your word in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit i ask that your word in my mouth in the mighty name of jesus i command that the flesh have a seat right now and if someone is watching that doesn't know you give them a heart of repentance lord god give them ears to hear and their heart to receive your word in the mighty name of jesus in Jesus name amen before we get started don't forget to subscribe hit the like button uh, hit the notification bell leave comments if it's anything about this video that you like that you enjoy just hit the like button and with that being said let's move on okay today I come on because the Lord been dealing with me about noon prayer he had begin to tell me he began to show me he get a lot of prayers a lot of people pray in the morning a lot of people pray before they go to bed. But he says that long stretch between noon and night um, is not a lot of prayers, I should say. Not a lot of people praying. He just started me with the noonday prayer. And he want us to begin to fill in that gap. Fill in the gap. Stop giving the devil half of our days. Some people giving him the whole day. But God want us to start filling in that noon to night in prayer even if you work the only thing you have to do as you sit at that desk is is pray it don't have to be nothing long and drawn out begin to bind up that those spirits that 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 flies by day begin to bind those spirits up in the mighty name of jesus begin to put on those strongholds in the middle of the day Begin to bind up and destroy the destruction that wastes that noonday. Begin to bind those things up in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what God want. That's what God wants us to start doing. Is closing in the gap, cause the enemy he seeks, he roams to and fro, seeking whom he can devour. Psalms, Psalms fifty-five, or you know what? Let's go to sixteen. As for me, I call to the Lord. And the Lord saves me. 17. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. He rescues me unharmed from the battle waged against me. Even though many oppose me, God who is enthroned from of old who does not change, he will hear them and humble them. Because they have no fear of God. Now, that's the first one. So we should be praying morning, noon, and night. God wants us to fill in that gap between 12 and nighttime. And I know I've been guilty of that. I pray in the morning. I pray at night. But in, that, in the mist, I wasn't doing it. But he told me to begin to do it. So... If we begin to pray at noon, at least we would know right then and there that we're in agreement between those, in those times. Between that time, a lot of his people would be in agreement. We're going to go to Psalms 91. It says here, I'm going to start at 3. Well, we can start at 1. Let's go and start at 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver me from the, fa fa the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Now number five says, you will not fear. I will not fear the terror by night nor the arrow that flieth by day. And we have the pestilence. That walketh in darkness. Nor the plague that destroys at midday. At noontime. At noonday. Closing in the gap. Giving the enemy no space. Giving the enemy no room to sit and plan. He has between noon and night. To come up with a plan. When, the, when it's just open. Not a lot of people praying. Very few prayers go up. Between noon and night. The only time prayers go up a lot if somebody is going through something in at the noon and noonday then god may receive some prayers but we as the body of christ we gotta start giving god some time 
between noon and night. Like I say, even as you, if you work, when you go on break, just begin to bind those arrows that flies by day. Begin to destroy the destruction that wastes that noonday by the blood of Jesus. Begin to ple plead the blood of Jesus in the noonday. Just plead the blood of Jesus in the atmosphere. Plead the blood of Jesus. Bind up the plan of the enemy. Bind up the plan of the witches. Bind up the plan of the warlocks. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you go out into the atmosphere. And you destroy every plan that's not your plan. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pull down every stronghold. Right holes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. That's what God wants us to begin to do. Between 12 and 12, between 12 and nighttime, between 12 and the evening, begin to bind those things up in Jesus' name. Loose peace in the atmosphere. Loose blessings in the atmosphere. Loose protection in the atmosphere. In the mighty name of Jesus. You loose the blood in the atmosphere. The blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And after that, it said a thousand may fall at our side. 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come now our dwelling place. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I come on today to share with you guys what God has been sharing with me. And I just pray that we all come, all we all get on one accord between 12 and evening. That we begin to fill in the gap and give the devil no place in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in the midday, we send them out to the schools and bind that devil up that's out there to the schools. Bind the devil out that's out there on the jobs. With our souls, with a, with a soul our feet should tread, we begin to possess it in Jesus' name. We can do it. That's what he want us to do. He want to hear from, he want to hear more from us at noonday, in the middle of the day, in the mighty name of Jesus. And with that being said, until next time, let's fill in the gap. In Jesus' name, amen.